This is the second tutorial dealing with uh, Newton's second law problem. And here we have a 1,600 kilogram car. It's put in the neutral and rolls down from rest from a 20 meter hill in four seconds. What is the net external force that acts on the car? So first we'll draw our diagram. We have our car on a hill. And it rolls down 20 meters from rest. And so we, we look for our givens next. We have a 1,600 kilogram car. Kilograms gives away that it's a mass. Uh, we have that it says it rolls from rest, which means that our initial velocity is zero meters per second. It says it rolls down a 20 meter hill. So the meters gives away that it is a displacement. It's a linear motion, so we'll just write this as delta x says four seconds, and so seconds tells us that that's a time. And it asks for the net external force. It's asking for a force and the overall total force, so it's sigma f. So now we look to our equations. We look to our chapter four, that's the one on forces, and we see that we have one equation with sigma f, and that's this one right here. In order to find this force, we need to know the mass, which is 1,600 kilograms, but we need to know the acceleration as well, and that is something we do not have. So we're gonna have to find our acceleration another way and then come back here and solve for the force. So this looks to me like a chapter two problem. This looks like a linear motion problem. We know how far it goes, and we know it starts from rest and it goes four seconds. So we're gonna go back to those linear motion problems, and we want to find that acceleration. Well, here's acceleration. In order to solve for the acceleration with this equation, we need to know time, which is four, the initial velocity, which is zero, and the final, we don't know that. Here's, here's uh, acceleration as well. In order to use this equation, we need to know time, which is four seconds, the initial velocity, which is zero, and the distance it moves, which is 20 meters. So this is our equation. We're going to use this one to solve for acceleration and then go back and solve for the net external force. So we'll write down our equation as we see it on our equation sheet. We have delta x to be 20 meters. Vi is zero. Our time is four seconds. We're solving for A, and again, four seconds. So this whole term goes away, and we're left with 20 meters. And we can, we can multiply this in any order that we want. Uh, four squared is 16, times a half is eight, times our acceleration. And now we divide by each side, eight, and we get our acceleration, comes out to be two and a half meters per second squared. However, that's not our main goal. <coughs> our main goal is to find sigma f. So now we go back to these chapter four equations, and we see now we do know the acceleration, so we can use that equation to solve for the total external force. So we have sigma f is mass times acceleration which is 1,600 kilograms times eight meters, sorry, times two and a half meters per second squared. And so we get our net external force, comes out to be 4,000 newtons. And that's our answer. Again, remember that a Newton is an abbreviation of a kilogram times meters per second squared. So if you do want your answer to be in Newtons, make sure that you have things in kilograms, meters, and seconds 